a violent thought. It's going to show up somewhere in the world. And someone who's a little less stable is going to pick it up. So the other thing is that if you're picking up a thought and you're having your trigger and you're having your reaction, what do you do? You use it, right? You use it. So Ho'oponopono talks about this sense of personal responsibility, that all of it is ours, all of it. So everything that shows up within your purview is you. Whether, and so here's, this is gonna rock your world. This is, this is kind of in my book too, so those of you have read my book, but right now, I want you to feel this. Right now, I am you speaking to you. Right now. You have created me at this moment to tell you this information. Nothing to do with me. I'll make it go. So, um, Ho'oponopono teaches us that everything that shows up for us is our responsibility. And so it goes that much further. So, Dr. Len, um, he healed an entire ward of the criminally insane. Okay, these are people, that there's the active word there is criminal and insane. <laughs> right? Criminal. They, they've done some bad, bad stuff. So, he went into this ward in Hawaii and he did Ho'oponopono. Ho'oponopono is simply a Hawaiian prayer of thank you. I'm sorry, please forgive me. That's it. That's it. Now what I do is I layer over top of it my own body dialoguing system, so I take it just a little bit deeper into the body. And what he did was he got the files on these people. He never met them. He got the files, he opened the files, and he looked at it and said, where is that in here? Now, did he commit any violent crimes? No. So when I'm, when I'm talking about you know choosing a person who is bugging the heck out of you, could be a perpetrator from childhood that's did something really bad. Right? And you get to say, take responsibility for a piece of it, which is, where is that within me? Where is that perpetrator that did that horrible thing within me? And um, if it's showing up, it's there. So here's something else that's interesting. We have a dis... Uh, <clears throat> I've been uh, experimenting through the years with evil. In my book, I talk evil is a life unlived. That's my fundamental belief. Evil is simply life on the go. And, and I'll tell you a story of that. I was thinking about the devil and it kind of was freaking myself out. <laughs> the devil, oh my God, you gotta come So there's, there's a vibrational resonance that goes with that. And so there was some, something that was happening there. And that was freaking me out. You can see how we can get into a spiral of this stuff. And so I said, okay, stop. I'm gonna do a little meditation and just ask it to myself. And I was doing my body dialoguing technique back then. And what is this? And what I was shown is that I was shown a uh, an actual street sign that said evil. And then it spun around and it said live, live. And then it spun evil, live, evil, live, evil, live, evil. And I heard really loud. You know, every so often you get one of those big, booming uh, Charlton Heston God voices. <laughs> evil is a life unlived. <laughs> and that's what, <laughs> that's what I got. I heard that in that moment. Evil is a life unlived. And so what does that mean? That means living at the highest vibration that you can. That means raising your vibration where you can. That means living fully a juicy life adventure. And it's like what I was talking about yesterday, not seeing the things that are showing up as horror and her terrible in your victim. It's showing up because you asked. It's showing up because you're ready. It's showing up because you're ready. Why is it showing up? How about because I'm ready? Showing up because? So, so that's the creative force of, of taking responsibility for your life at the same time. So what Mary was talking about yesterday about being triggered, it's the same idea, right? The triggering shows up because there's a folder inside of you that has a, a containing trauma.